the power of like. Companies know how to turn like into money. And the advertising machine spinning likes into gold. Your consumer is your marketer. Today, people are giving up more and more private information about themselves online without knowing that it's being harvested and personalized and sold to lots of different people. Facebook recently proposed some policy changes on user privacy. They say trying to clarify language on how some photos and information might be used in advertisements. The idea was it would be much easier to use your name and image in commercial and advertising campaigns on behalf of Facebook for brands who have a relationship with Facebook. This is madness. I mean, this idea that, you know, if you don't pay attention on day one, that on day two I show up in an advertising campaign for Facebook. I can think of no other major branded company who has that kind of, the combination of tongue deafness and predatory with relationship with their customers. Facebook caused an uproar last week when scientists from Cornell University working with Facebook's own data science team released the results of a psychological experiment that they performed on about 700,000 Facebook users, none of which knew they were participating. It's sometimes said of Facebook that the users aren't the customer, they're the product. We've developed mechanisms where we can quite accurately predict things like your political preference, your personality score, gender, sexual orientation. And again, it doesn't come from what you might think of as obvious information. Most media companies, television, radio, publishing, games, you name it, they use very rigid segmentation methods in order to understand their audiences. It's old school demographics. Media companies believe that if you fall within a certain demographic category, then you are predictable in certain ways. You have certain taste, that you like certain things. And so the bizarre result of this is that most of our popular culture is actually based on these presumptions about our demographics. When you hit like, when you retweet, when you make any expression online, you're creating data. You're creating a demographic profile of yourself. You are your own media company, 100%. That's every single person's goal in this. So all those selfies you take so that people will like them on Instagram, they helped that company sell for a billion dollars. Send a tweet, and you help raise the value of Twitter to around 30 billion. In Facebook, it's valued at around $140 billion. Those numbers aren't based on profits, not yet anyway. Those prices are based on the volume of likes they can generate. And likes don't generate themselves. This event is a pop-up tweet shop for Daisy Mark Jacobs fragrances. There's absolutely no transactions with money that take place, and instead, social media equals social currency. It's a lot of work to like do all of this. It's like it takes a lot of time to like retweet everything, to like everything. So I was liking and sharing all of these posts for like four to five hours. My hands were so tired after. It makes me feel like a worker, but it's all worth it in the end because I get more sparks. <laughs>